back to another Megazord video. Today we're looking at this beauty. This is the Isis Megazord. This is obviously one of my favorite Zords um, and it's probably one of my most like, valuable one. This one cost me a lot of money to be able to get. Um, I'm missing one part and that is the uh, giraffe head um, to make it into the spear. Um, that's because I gave that part to my friend Lord Krytos for his Isis Megazord that I managed to get him. Um, so I, uh, that he was missing that bit, so I gave him mine because I wasn't that bothered about missing it. Um, so if I ever find one on eBay, I will find it. Uh, a little bit of backstory about this Megazord. Uh, this was uh, the armadillo, rhino, giraffe and deer they had before they got the main piece to this which is the falcon. Um, the rangers got the falcon sword after completing a task by Animus, the creator of the wild four swords, um, before they were lost forever and they then as soon as they completed the task Cole was gifted the Falcon Summoner, which then summoned the Falcon Zord, and he would also be able to use his Battleizer form as well. Um, so let's break it all down and let's take a look at each individual Zord. So first off, we are going to start with the Giraffe Zord. Uh, this forms one of the arms, as you saw in the intro, and it also makes up one of the weapons, which is like a spear. Um, the legs basically just fold into each other and the body kind of just folds up a little bit as well. And um, we'll take a look at that when I put it all together and show off the actual main Zord. The next one is the Deer Zord. Uh, this kind of acts as like a shield and it can also heal the Wild Force Zords and, as well. Um, Again, this is kind of just like another one of the weapons and similar deal to the giraffe, the gags just fold into each other um, and then you have the main piece to the Megazord. I'm going to put these on respectively together because these kind of are together. But we have the armadillo and the rhino zord here. Uh, we saw these in a previous video. Um, with the conga zord I believe uh, because these can make up a part of the conga zord um, and there, it's the similar deal with these to the isis megazord they make the legs and the amadillo makes one of the feet now the falcon is a little bit trickier to show off because of the wings so we can't have it on the plate So we are just going to pose it there. So the wings are massive. This is one of the main pieces of the Megazord. Um, and when it's in Megazord formation, the wings are either outright like that, or they fold up and form kind of like a shielded chest piece. Uh, the Falcon Zord makes up the main body and the head of the Isis Megazord. Um, now we're going to put it all together and take another look at it complete. So first off we're going to start with the Rhino and the Armadillo respectively. So it's the, the same uh, deal with this as it is to the time I put it together on the Conga Zord. And then next up, we're going to put the Falcon Zord on top. So with this, cool, really, if the wings would stop folding over, would be nice. So a really cool thing about this is this whole centerpiece folds down the head and then the main head to the 
and Gazord just pops up and slides into place with the falcon head squatting just like that. And then you have these feet come up here and kind of just slot into place just there. Then this just kind of clips onto the front, well, onto the top of the rhino. And what we'll do is we'll just fold the wings over just for the time being. These kind of just click into place as well. The front there. I will show off the, uh, the other mode. So next up we have the deer. So the head tilts forwards like that. And then these just kind of fold in to themselves. Like so. And then it slots into there, just like that. And then it'd be the same with the deer, uh, the giraffe. So tail pops in legs fold into each other and then the whole neck folds down So, and I'm just going to take the fur, and I've just taken the fur box off my table uh, just to give a real showcase on the when the wings are outright. This is how I have it on display, just because I love it with the eyes on the uh, on the wings and everything else. Um, I honestly, like I said at the beginning, one of my all-time favourite Zords, um, and I'm really glad I have this one in my collection. I am trying to get a really other cool Wild Force sword, which is known as the Animus. And, uh, well, the, uh, what is that what it's called? Yeah, the Animus Megazord. I'm trying to get that one, and I'm also trying to get the Predazord from Wild Force as well. Um, so hopefully soon they will be in my collection and they will be in this playlist as well. Um, Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, the next video is actually going to be uh, Ninja Storm. No. It's Dino Thunder next, actually, I think. Yeah, I think it's Dino Thunder. So, or is it Ninja Storm? I don't know, what, I forget the order of the, the series. So it'll either be Ninja Storm or Dino Thunder next. So thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day. Peace.